Pension Media, we are about to get underway with uh, the University of Wisconsin. We'll uh, bring them into the call here in just a minute. Just want to run through some ground rules real quick. Um, if you have a question for one of the speakers, press the raise your hand function, and I will call on you in the order the requests are made. Uh, you will be on mute until you are called on, and we'll go back on mute once you finish your question. Um, we're going to bring in here in just a moment uh, the University of Wisconsin. Again, we'll be joined by head coach Mark Johnson, student athletes McKenna Webster and Sophie Shirley. We'll begin momentarily. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by University of Wisconsin head coach, Mark Johnson. Um, coach, we'd like to ask you to make an opening statement and then we'll take questions. Go ahead. Yep, go right ahead, coach. Oh, oh well, thanks. Yeah, just, uh, you know, exciting uh, game. Uh, good things happen, some things that, uh, you know, we continue to try to work on, uh, but, uh, you know, give Minnesota credit, uh, you know, they put up a good fight and, uh, you know, gave themselves an opportunity in the last few minutes. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to, you know, get a power play at the end of the game and, uh, you know, get ourselves to the finish line. But uh, this is playoff hockey. You know, both teams, uh, you know, played fairly well. Uh, and then just a matter of who makes plays, who gets pucks, than that and uh you know we we're fortunate today to get some bounces and uh you know win the game so we're excited we're happy and get a chance to play again tomorrow okay questions for coach just hit the raise your hand function coach i'm sorry what um we can say about the performance of mckenna webster today yeah, I mean, just, uh, you know, that, that line, uh, you know, has played well since, uh, you know, we switched them around a few weekends ago. And uh, I think, as you all know, uh, you know, if a player scores a goal or has a good game and, and is productive and helps the team win, uh, their confidence goes up. And I think the last couple of weekends, especially last weekend at Duluth, they thought that line played well. And, uh, you know, McKenna and Casey, uh, you know they, they've grown uh, they're, they're much better players right now than the you know when we first started with them uh, you know we've got 17 games under our belt with them but the, the nice thing about it is uh, you know they've made strides they've made improvements they continue to get better and certainly with McKenna scoring a couple of goals especially the one uh, late in the second period on the power play uh, you know you know springed us into an opportunity to go in the third period up three, one. And, uh, you know, I was happy for it. It's, it's fun to watch him improve. It's fun to see him get better and, uh, their confidence continues to grow. Thank you. We have a question from, uh, John Shipley. John, go ahead. Hey, Mark. I'm wondering, uh, what you, what you make of, uh, the situation of the bulkers of I'm having trouble hearing that. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Okay. I'm wondering what you make of the situation that certainly the Gophers are in, but maybe another team here. Uh, they're trying to get, you know, another three WCHA teams in the tournament. And odd seasons involving up on each other. Uh, what do you make of that? I just heard part of it, but uh, it sounds like... Uh, you know, what situation Minnesota's in, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been an awkward year. It's been a challenging year. Uh, it was no different last night when I'm talking to my trainer and, 
we didn't know if the, today's game was going to happen or not because some things were going on, uh, you know, that we have no control of. But uh, I think, uh, you know, our league, obviously, with the number of teams that, that are in the top 10 and the top five, uh, it's business as usual, as I see it, where it's very competitive. Uh, you know, all our games that we have to play, you know, whether you're at home or on the road, are challenging. And, uh, you know, this year, uh, without any really non-conference games, uh, it just makes each one of those contests uh, within our league uh, so vitally important. And so... Uh, it's a goofy year, uh, but I know one thing, uh, you know, we got four teams here at this tournament, uh, you know, that are worthy of uh, being here, that have had good seasons and certainly deserve to move on. Okay, we have a question from Nicole Haas. Nicole? Um, Mark, you switched up the lines a little bit, and Minnesota did a great job of sort of um, really kind of uh, keeping Lacey and Daryl and a few other players in check, but um, I thought the depth was really on display. I know you talked a little bit about McKenna, but just um, can you talk a little bit about the the depth of the team and how they, they kind of carried it today? Yeah, I mean, we made a couple adjustments last weekend because, uh, you know, Duluth's top line was uh, was playing well and we just need to, to, to counter and, and try to somehow slow them down and, and contain them. And, uh, you know, that third period Saturday night last weekend helped us do that. So we stayed with the same groups. Uh, and so, you know, the one thing, uh, you know, the teams that, that are here have, you know, they've, they've got good players, they've got good defensemen. Uh, you know, everybody's playing pretty well right now. So, you know, if you're going to earn situations, you're going to earn scoring chances, uh, you really have to work for them. And so, uh, you know, at times we played well today, at times Minnesota played well, but, you know, I've, I've been seeing that for probably 18 years now. And when, when you hook up against these guys, it's usually pretty entertaining. It usually uh, goes down to the wire and no day today was no different than most games that, that, that I've been involved in with, with them. Sorry, one more. Yeah, John, I'm sorry. Go ahead, John. You'll be the, this will be the final question for Coach Johnson. So, Go Mark, ahead, John. thank you. Mark, given what you just said about how good the WCHA is, um, you know, I've seen you, your team play four or five times now, and they look excellent every time. What do you say? What does it say about your team that you've been answering the bell way more often than not? Well, I mean, it's just, uh, like I say, it's a goofy year when you look at your schedule, uh, especially this year, more so than any year that I've been involved is, you know, th there's never an easy weekend. Uh, and so, you know, you, you try to prepare, you try to get your players up to, uh, you know, mentally understanding that every time you go on the ice, uh, it's going to be good competition, obviously, for a long period of time. Uh, you know, everybody we play against wants to beat us and they get uh, they get fired up and usually we see the other team's best games and so uh you know it, it just it is what it is and uh you know you challenge your team you challenge your players and, and the most important part of it is, is you got to prepare them and it's it starts with the group wanting to get better and, and improve and uh you know this group uh and i'm sure you know the other teams can say the same thing it's just been a hard year because i mean we had 50 practices before we even played a game this year uh and then got a couple games under a belt down at ohio state you know and, and then got shut down for four weeks and so uh you don't draw scripts uh, you, you don't get in the coaching business to deal with these type of things but as I said all along, you know, the teams that uh, that do it the best and can manage, you know, practices and games and uh, their team, uh, if they do it really well, and usually they're going to be the ones last standing. And, uh, you know, we found that out last weekend in Duluth when we were able to come back and, and win a hockey game Saturday night and win a league championship. And uh, and then it comes down to, the, you know, these this weekend where, you know, everybody up here is good and everybody can beat everybody. and. Uh, who's going to play well, who's going to make uh, a play. And today for us, McKenna Webster uh, really got us going and started, uh, uh, you know, us in a, in a positive direction. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate you joining us. All right, thank you. Next up, we'll be joined by uh, Scotts' student athlete, Sophie Shirley. Again, if you have questions, just raise your hand or hit the raise your hand function and we'll, we'll uh, get you going. Hi, Sophie. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. 
How'd it feel out there today? Uh, it was good. I think, um, you know, it was, a, it was a team effort today. I think, um, you know, I, we had all our lines going from, from Kennedy uh, all the way up to our fours. And I think, um, you know, once we're all doing that together, we're able to come up with a really, really good win. So it was fun. Our first question will be from uh, Nicole Haas. Uh, Nicole, go ahead. It was those first couple power plays were um, a bit of a struggle. And how, like, how did it feel to finally break through for you guys on that power play and just um, sort of maybe settle in on that a little? Yeah, I think we definitely did struggle a little bit off that power play for both of those power plays. But, um, you know, I think for us, it's kind of just the way that you react after that. And, um, you know, we had a couple of really good lines um, come out after us. And um, I know we had one goal right after our, our power plays. So, um, you know, I think it's just kind of getting that momentum back. And I think that's what we did. So it was good. Okay, we've got a question from Nick Kelly from the Star Tribune. Nick, go ahead. Sophie, that first goal for you guys, uh, it really felt like the Gophers came out strong, came out with some momentum, but what did that first goal do when you scored just to take out, you know, kind of the wind out of their sails? Yeah, I think it was huge. I think, um, you know, anytime you can score the first one, it's a good feeling. And, um, you know, Britta made a really, really good pass to me there and I was able to kind of just tuck it in. So, um, you know, it's, it's good when you get up to a good start like that and, you, and you're able to just roll with that. So it was good. Okay, just one second. Joined now by John Shipley. John, go ahead. Hey, Sophie. Um, you know, you. the other thing, other than scoring first, is you answered every one of the goals pretty quickly. How important do you think that was to kind of keep them? Every time it seemed like they were building something, you guys kind of shut it down. Yeah, yeah. I think, like I said before, um, they came out really hard on us. And, um, you know, I think that that's kind of what we wanted to do right back at them was kind of push on them and, um, you know, not give them any time, any room. And um, I think if we could get uh, any pucks to the net uh, like we did on that goal, I think that was going to be a good thing. And um, that's what we were kind of trying to do. And um, and that's kind of how that goal happened. So that was huge for us, for sure. Okay, we have time for one more question for Sophie. It'll be uh, Nicole Haas. Nicole, go ahead. Thank you. Um... Sorry, Nicole, go ahead. Go ahead. You were cut off there. Sorry, Sophie, um, can you just talk a little bit about the depth of this team and how important it is to be able to have someone like McKenna step up and um, the Gophers did a really good job of kind of having your top two lines in um, and those freshmen really stepped it up. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, kind of like I said at the start there, I think we were all going, I think, uh, from top to bottom. Uh, all the lines were really um, putting in a good effort and um, you know, pushing on them hard. And um, it was really good to see Mac get a couple of goals. I think um, you know, any anytime a freshman gets a couple like that, it, it kind of lifts, lifts the bench up a little bit too. So um, that was great momentum for our team. And um, it was a really good win for us. Okay, hey, Sophie, thank you very much. Now we'll bring in uh, McKenna Webster. Awesome, thank you. Question, if you have a question for McKenna, please raise your hand. Hi, McKenna. Thanks for joining us. Hi. We've got, we've got a couple of questions for you here. We're going to start with uh, John Shipley from the St. Paul Pioneer Press. Go ahead, John. Hi. Um, you know, I didn't realize this, but your coach said that you had 50 practices before you played a game, and then you played a game and got shut down. And I'm wondering, um, you know, at that point, I'm sure you thought you'd be good. Um, did you picture yourself here? Did you picture the season? Sorry, could you repeat that? Oh. <laughs> can you hear? Me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Mark said that um, you had 50 practices before you played a game. Then you played one series, got shut down again. And I'm wondering if you thought you'd be here at this point, and if you thought maybe the season wouldn't even get finished. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely tough doing all those practices and us getting ready for our first games. And I would say, like, we're doing really well. Our first game's over. We're ready for the next weekend. And then we get shut down, unfortunately. And after that, it was tough because each te other team started to get shut down. And we never knew what was eventually going to happen. But um, 
we were so prepared for this tournament and we're so thankful that it happened and um we've worked so hard to be here and and we're very happy that we're able to play okay next question will be from nick kelly nick go ahead so mckenna you guys had a few power play opportunities in the second um, and I think it was finally the third one you guys that you got your goal on. Um, what, what changed or how did you guys finally kind of break through on that power play? I mean, I would say we, I feel like we were a little frantic at first, but we knew that we were capable of getting a goal on the power play. And we, um, I would say, just took a deep breath and knew that we had more time than we thought. And um, we practiced that power play a lot and I would say um by the third one we knew exactly like what they were going to do and we knew what we had to do we um learned from the past mistakes we had on the first two power plays and on the third we were ready okay McKenna thank you we appreciate you joining us thank you uh, we'll be joined moment in just a few minutes by uh, the uh, University of Minnesota, if you just give us one second. Coach, would you like to ask you to make an opening statement? Yeah, uh, you know, tough result here uh, here tonight, but man, I thought our team played well. Um, you know, as a group, uh, defended well, we are on it. Uh, I know Saying defended well, giving up five doesn't uh, oftentimes make a whole lot of sense. But I, I just loved how our team competed, and you know we got down a couple goals a couple times, got it to one, and and had a ton of momentum. And um, unfortunately, just uh, uh, whether it was being in the box too much or or uh, not catching any bounces, uh, uh, the result did not end up the way we wanted it to. Thank you, Coach. Our first question is from uh, Matthew Kennedy. Matt, go ahead. Hi, Coach. I was wondering if you could elaborate on your goalie play tonight, first for Michaela Paul, and then when she went out with Lauren Bench in the third. Yeah, you know, I um, just felt like we needed uh, a change there to have Lauren uh, uh, go in and, and hopefully jumpstart us a little bit. Uh, and I thought, um, you know, I thought it did that uh, scoring. She made a nice save. Uh, Lauren did in the third and uh, early, and and then we were able to score right after that. But uh, um, certainly wasn't planning on playing both goalies tonight. Uh, but that's how it how it worked out. Next question is from uh, John Shipley. John, go ahead. Brad, the the first the first goal that uh, Lauren gave up, I. I was, it happened right in front of me, I'm still not sure it happened. She was back behind the net, and did the, did the puck, puck get deflected out then? Uh, honestly, John, I didn't, I didn't see it either. I was talking to, to one of our forwards, but uh, I think, uh, I, I don't know. I shouldn't even speak to it. I've heard three different things as to how it went in. Okay. Next up, Nick Kelly. Nick, go ahead. But Brad, when you guys have these penalties coming, you know, coming at such inopportune times, like what, what are you saying to uh, the women just to make sure they they stay in it and kind of just keep staying engaged as you guys keep getting hit with these penalties and being down a man? Well, I I think it's hard, you know, when penalties are 4-0 through two periods and um, we played six six minutes or eight minutes, I can't remember on the on the PK there in the second, so um, that that was difficult, but. You know, we I think we were actually able uh, on the first three anyways to build some momentum off of uh, uh, off of those. Uh, not that you want to take penalties to kill them off and get momentum, but uh, in particular the five on three and uh, team just did a nice job of 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 killing those off. And unfortunately, they get one on the rush there on on their fourth one at the end of the period, and it deflects off our goalie stick and goes top. Uh, sorry, deflects off our defenseman stick and goes top shelf. But um, overall, I thought our kill was really good. Wish we weren't on it as much as uh, as we were tonight. And next question is from Andy McDonald. Andy, go ahead. 
Hey, Coach, uh, obviously you guys played well tonight, but now it's kind of out of your control. What's the message to the team, knowing kind of in flux, and obviously WCHA is a very strong conference, but it, it could be tough to get kind of four teams from the conference. What's the message to the team about what lies ahead in the next couple of days, couple of weeks? Yeah, I, the message was pretty simple that we, you know, we don't know what it's going to look like. Um, and so um, we're, I, I told them to prepare like uh, we're going to see each other again and, and we're going to be practicing on, on Monday. And that's certainly the hope. I mean, as you look at our, our resume, our, our losses are against the number one or two or three team in the country. Um, you know, we have some signature wins there against uh, Ohio State, uh, a couple of those. We've got a couple against Duluth. Um, a tie against uh, uh, Wisconsin and, and a loss in overtime against them. So hopefully the committee uh, values our, our schedule and our strength of schedule and, and values uh, uh, how we played uh, this year. So um, unfortunately it's, it's out of our hands and we were hopeful that, uh, that we would uh, make the decision easy for them by winning the tournament. We have one more question for you, Coach. It'll be uh, Nicole Haas. Nicole, go ahead. Brad, you said before that there's kind of no secrets between uh, you guys in Wisconsin or you and Mark. Um, but as you said, it was a really great defensive team uh, game from you guys. I was just curious what you guys focused on and, and um, kind of what you talked to the team about uh, for to make that defensive stand today. Yeah, you know, we haven't talked a lot honestly about Wisconsin it's more about just how we want to play and I thought uh, I thought our team did a great job I mean um, a lot of great sticks some uh, some great tracking by our our forwards coming back trying to deny uh, their rushes our D were appropriately aggressive I mean just all the things that we want to do with our speed and uh, we were able to do tonight um, it's hard when you you give up whatever I 23, 25 shots and, and five go in the net. Um, but I, I, I thought the last couple games in particular against Wisconsin, we've, uh, we played well enough to win. Uh, we just didn't. And that's, uh, that's not an excuse and it does not make us feel any better. Um, knowing that we, we played well, but didn't win. Uh, we're obviously here to, to win hockey games and we didn't do that tonight. Coach, thank you for your time. We appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. We will be joined here in just a minute by uh, two Minnesota student athletes. First one will be Emily Brown. Give us just one second, and we'll get them. We'll get Emily on stage. Hi, Emily. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Uh, uh, we've got a couple questions for you here. We're going to start with uh, John Shipley from the uh, St. Paul Pioneer Press. John, go ahead. Hi, Emily. I'm wondering um, how anxious you are now. Uh, you've got a long night ahead of you and part, most of the day tomorrow to wait to see what happens. Do you feel pretty good about your chances tomorrow or are you, are you stomach in knots? Um, you know what, we're just, um, for me personally, I'm just, you know, focusing on what we can control. We um, did what we could and in the next, as Frosty touched on, the next 24 hours are, are really out of our control. So um, as far as tonight, honestly, I'll do some homework, try and take my mind off things and um, into tomorrow too, and just wait to see what our future holds. But um, but yeah, out of our control. So uh, try not to, to think about it too much um, until tomorrow night comes around. Okay, next question is from uh, Matthew Kennedy. Matt, go ahead. Hey, Emily, what do you think about um, your unit's defensive effort overall tonight? You know, only allowing 23 shots on goal. I mean, um, the score at the end was five to three, but you have to be happy about, you know, 
holding the Badgers to not that many shots on goal. Yeah, I mean, I thought defensively, you know, you know, we played hard. We did the things that we were focusing on doing. We um, kept a good gap um, and just played well defensively. You know, um, that group of of defense five, sometimes six. You know, I just I love playing with them. I love coming up to to the rink every day and. Um, you know, we knew we had to come out, come out big today. And I, and I thought we played really well. And, um, and yeah. Okay. Next question is from uh, Nick Kelly with the Star Tribune. Nick, go ahead. Hi, Emily. So if you have a chance to make a pitch to the committee as to why you guys should get in to the NCAA tournament, what, what is that? Um, yeah. You know, similar to what coach Frost said, I, I think we played, um, played, a, played great all year. We had some tough opponents that we played against and, um, you know, weekend in and weekend out, we're playing against some of the top five teams in the country. And, um, you know, there was a stretch of eight games where, where all eight of those games were against Ohio and Wisconsin. And we were, um, where they were bounced around between number one, number three, and, and number four in the country there. So, um, you know, I, I think we've, our resume is, um, is strong. We've played hard against good opponents, even if, we haven't come out on top. We've took them to overtime or, or really close games, but um, you know, strength of schedule would be would be a big one. But like I said, it's out of our hands, and we're just waiting to waiting to hear where we end up on Sunday evening. Okay, Emily, thank you for joining us. You can go. Appreciate it. Okay, we'll be joined here momentarily by uh, Grace. She'll be our final speaker of the day. Okay, we're joined. Hey, Grace, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. We're joined now by Grace Zumwickle, um, and we're going to take questions from the floor. First question will be to Nick Kelly from the uh, Star Tribune. Nick, go ahead. Yeah, Grace. With these, you know, now you guys have to play the waiting game. Uh, Emily said she's going to be doing homework to try to take her mind off. What are you going to take do to kind of take your mind off of things being out of your hands now for the next twenty four hours? I mean, I might be right there with her on the homework aspect, um, but I think I'll probably tune into uh, the Duluth Ohio game a little bit to see what's going on in that front. But um, like you said, um, it's kind of out of our control at this point in time. It's just a matter of time before we decide what happens. Next question will be from John Shipley. I'm trying to press John, go ahead. Grace, um, I know you guys didn't win, but I'm wondering, you know, going into this waiting game, if you feel okay with the effort you guys gave today. Yeah, I think walking away from today, we're obviously not super happy with a loss, um, especially that puts us in a, a unique situation going into postseason further down the road. But I think um, we can hang on the hat of the fact that we, for the most part, did the little things that we needed to do. Um, and we just fell short on the scoreboard. Do you have any more questions for Grace? Hey, okay, Grace, thank you. Appreciate thank your time. You. Have a good night. You too. Right. Okay, that concludes our, our semifinal one press conference. This will be available on WCHA.com uh, later this afternoon, and we'll also send an email out a link uh, once we have it up online. Thank you.